Hi, thanks for choosing to watch this C-Logic video on the Tools Options menu selection. Selecting the Tools menu bar and then clicking Options allows a user to make some basic configuration changes to their system alone. The Manage box that appears is made up of a series of tabs and will consider some of the main areas of each tab. The Lookups and Groups tab allows a user to select the area of the system they log into, in this case Activities and also the default groups that each entity uses when that entity is selected. To do this, simply select the main view and then which group should be the default group for that view. You can also select the default layout of an existing group that will be applied to any new groups that you create. The email tab allows a user to specify mail systems options. This is generally set up during installation and also history options. This is important as it is where you can set whether you should be prompted to record additional history each time you send or log an email to SalesLogix. Great to never miss any follow-up activities. It is here you also set the system to prompt you if any duplicates are picked up or records not found when recording emails. The Activities tab allows you to set some default behaviours when scheduling activities. Simply select each activity type in turn and choose the default behaviours. When scheduling follow-up activities, additional defaults can be set, such as the type to schedule, and whether to carry over notes and attachments. The Calendar tab allows changes to be made as to how you interact with your calendar. Using the SalesLogix calendar, you can choose a drag default. This is when you click and drag a time period in the calendar and when you release the click, the system will bring up the schedule activity box for the period selected. Set to choose and the user chooses whether the activity should be a meeting, a phone call or a to-do. The other tab allows you to set a default owner for when adding accounts and contacts, normally left as everyone. The user can specify base templates for when they're creating company-wide templates and if you use multi-currency, it is in this tab that you can select your user currency. If you ever see a padlock and an area is greyed out, then it means that this has been locked down by the administrator. Remember that each tab has an entity specific help area, so be sure to read the help files for more information. Thanks very much for watching this C Logic production.